today we are going to talk about gastrointestinal system first of all gastrointestinal system embryology it derives from foregut midgut and hindgut foregut gives us esophagus to the duodenum at the level of pancreatic duct and common bile duct insertion at the level of ampulla of water in 4 to 6 week of development stomach rotates 90 degree clockwise left vagus becomes anteriorly positioned and right vagus becomes posteriorly positioned then midgut gives lower duodenum to proximal 2/3 of transverse colon 6 week of development uh, physiologic herniation of midgut through umbilical ring and in 10th week of development returns to abdominal cavity rotating around superior mesenteric artery to 70 degree counterclockwise about 180 degree before 10th week and remaining 90 degree in 10th week and then hindgut gives distal one third of transverse colon to anal canal above the pectinate line as you can see in this diagram uh, the derivatives of foregut shown in sky blue color and the derivatives of midgut in yellow and hindgut in orange color ventral wall defects developmental defects due to failure of rostral fold closure for example sternal defects ectopia cortex lateral fold closure like omphalocele gastroschisis or caudal fold closure like bladder extrophy now uh, first of all gastroschisis versus omphalocele uh, on presentation in gastroschisis there is para umbilical herniation of abdominal contents through abdominal wall defect as you can uh, see in the picture a while in the omphalocele there is herniation of abdominal contents through umbilicus so in gastroschisis there is para umbilical herniation of abdominal contents while in omphalocele herniation of abdominal contents through umbilicus uh, then uh, in gastroschisis these contents are not covered by peritoneum or om- omnion amnion the guts comes out of the cap in the lateral g and in omphalocele uh, covered by the peritoneum and amnion abdominal contents are sealed in the lateral o so you can remember by the word omphalocele like o is covered association of gastroschisis this is not associated with chromosome abnormalities and having good prognosis while omphalocele associated with congenital anomalies for example trisomy 13 and 18 back with wedman syndrome and other structural abnormalities like cardiac abnormalities genital urinary and neural tube defects congenital umbilical herniation failure of umbilical ring to close after physiologic herniation of midgut covered by skin protrudes through in with increased abdominal intraabdominal pressure like crying may be associated with congenital disorders in down syndrome congenital hypothyroidism small defects usually close spontaneously tracheoesophageal anomalies esophageal atresia ea uh, with distal tracheoesophageal fistula is the most common and often presents as polyhydramnios in utero due to inability of fetus to swallow amniotic fluid it is most common 85% of cases neonates drool choke and vomit with first feeding Tracheoesophageal fistulas allow air to enter stomach 
visible on chest x-rays. Cyanosis is secondary to laryngospasm to avoid reflux related aspiration. Clinical test is like failure to pass nasogastric tube into stomach. So here is a picture of uh, tracheoesophageal fistula. In H type of uh, abnormality, the fistula resembles the letter H. In pure uh, esophageal atresia, chest x-ray shows gasless abdomen. So here you can uh, see the picture of a normal anatomy of trachea and esophagus and then there below there is a stomach with gastric bubble and in the second picture you can uh, you can see the uh, uh, esophageal atresia in the middle and then with esophageal atresia or stenosis with the gasless stomach with no uh, gastric bubble shadow in the chest x-ray then in the third picture there is a h type uh, abnormality with pure tracheoesophageal fistula and uh, with prominent gastric bubble and in the fourth picture you can see here the esophageal atresia at the first part of esophagus and then tracheoesophageal fistula with the second part of the esophagus and the trachea and the most common type and then, then you can see the uh, prominent gastric bubble shadow in the stomach on x-ray then next one is intestinal atresia it presents with bilious vomiting and abdominal distension within first one to two days of life duodenal atresia failure to recanalize it means failure to recanalize x-ray shows double bubble dilated stomach with proximal duodenum so double bubble sign associated with down syndrome here you can see in the picture a of abdominal x-ray jejunal and ileal atresia it means disruption of mesenteric vessels typically spiromesenteric artery leads to ischemic necrosis of fetal intestine which leads to segmental resorption bowel becomes discontinuous x-ray may show triple bubble sign dilated stomach duodenum and proximal duodenum and gasless colon associated with cystic fibrosis and gastroschisis may be caused by tobacco smoking or use of vasoconstrictive drugs for example cocaine during pregnancy next abnormality is hypertrophic pyloric stenosis it is the most common cause of gastric outlet obstruction in infants palpable olive shaped mass due to hypertrophy and hyperplasia of pyloric sphincter muscle in epigastric region visible peristaltic waves and non bilious projectile vomiting at about 2 to 6 weeks old more common in first born males associated with exposure to macrolides it results in hypokalemic, hypochloremic, metabolic alkalosis, scandy to vomiting of gastric acid, and subsequent volume contraction. Now, on, on ultrasound, it shows thickened and lengthened pylorus. Treatment is surgical incision of pyloric muscle, which uh, is known as pyloromyotomy. Here you can see in the picture. Uh, of thickened and uh, lengthened pylorus with the uh, narrow pyloric channel. The last abnormalities of pancreas and spleen with their normal embryology. Pancreas derived from foregut, ventral pancreatic bud contributes to uncinate process. Both ventral and dorsal buds contribute to pancreatic head and main pancreatic duct. What is annular pancreas? It is abnormal rotation of ventral pancreatic bulb forms a ring of pancreatic tissue which encircles second part of duodenum may cause 
duodenal narrowing and vomiting associated with down syndrome here you can see in the picture a next one is pancreas division ventral and dorsal bars fail to fuse at seventh week of development common anomaly mostly asymptomatic but may cause chronic abdominal pain and pancreatitis spleen arises in mesentery of stomach which is dorsal mesogastrium hence mesodermal in origin but has forgot supply from celiac trunk pineal artery arises from celiac trunk